This video is for page 15 of your interactive notebook about electromagnetic radiation. Electromagnetic radiation, or EMR, describes several different forms of energy, all of which travel in waves and are referred to collectively as light. And this includes what we think of as light, which is the visible light. The electromagnetic spectrum organizes all of the different possible wavelengths of electromagnetic radiation. Electromagnetic radiation includes things like radio waves, microwaves, infrared light, visible light, ultraviolet light, x-rays, and gamma rays. On the left side of your interactive notebook, you glued in a, an electromagnetic spectrum. And so it pulls out, right, and this is the, uh, the electromagnetic spectrum. You'll see x-rays, ultraviolet, visible light, infrared, microwaves, right? You'll see all of those there. Um, and a corresponding wavelength as well in meters. So for example, visible light is between uh, 1 times 10 to the negative 6th and 1 times 10 to the negative 7th meters. That's the wavelength of visible light. And so wavelength is represented by this symbol, symbol which we call a lambda. And it's in, uh, and it's in meters. Okay properties of electromagnetic waves. Um, the first property is wavelength, which we, which we just talked about on the other side. Uh, wavelength is the distance between two adjacent crests of a wave, so between two of the peaks of a wave. Frequency is another property of electromagnetic waves. Frequency is the number of cycles that a wave can make in a given amount of time, and that's going to, the variable that we use for that is f. And then the relationship between um, the two is how they relate to speed, because all electromagnetic waves travel at the same speed. They travel at 3.00 times 10 to the eighth meters per second. And you might know this as the speed of light, and it's represented by the variable C. And the relationship between C and wavelength and frequency is that the speed of light, the speed of electromagnetic waves, or C, is equal to the wavelength of the wave multiplied by its frequency. And because this is a constant, if we know wavelength or frequency, we can use this equation to determine the other. So on the left side of your notebook, we're going to look at an example of that. So the problem reads, what is the wavelength of an electromagnetic wave with a frequency of 1.09 times 10 to the 18th hertz? What type of radiation is the wave? So because we're given frequency and we know that it's an electromagnetic wave, we can determine the wavelength by using the formula C is equal to lambda times F, or speed of light is equal to wavelength times frequency. The speed of light is a constant, 3.00 times 10 to the 8th meters per second. This is equal to the wavelength, which we don't know, times the frequency, 1.09 times 10 to the 18th hertz. We'll divide both sides by 1.09 times 10 to the 18th hertz so that we get wavelength by itself and our resulting wavelength is 2.75 times 10 to the negative 10th meters. The second part of the question asks what type of radiation the wave is. So we're going to go all the way up to the top here and look at our electromagnetic spectrum. And you'll see that 1 times 10 to the negative 10th falls well within the X-ray region of the electromagnetic spectrum. So we're going to identify this wave as an X-ray. On the right side of your notebook, we're going to talk about the wave-particle duality of light. So it turns out that in addition to behaving like a wave, light also exhibits the properties of a particle. So uh, photons, which are the small massless particles that make up light, have both properties of a particle and properties of a wave. Each photon is packed with a certain amount of energy. And this energy is known as a quantum, and it's a discrete amount of energy, meaning it's a constant amount. So each photon has a specific amount of energy in it. And the energy of a wave, the energy of that quantum, can be calculated by multiplying the frequency times Planck's constant. Planck's constant is a constant that is equal to 6.626 times 10 to the negative 34th joules times seconds. So on the left side of our notebook, let's take a look at what that looks like. 
The example problem asks, what is the energy of a wave with a frequency of 3.52 times 10 to the 17th hertz? So we're given the frequency and we're asked to solve for the energy of the wave. So we're going to multiply the frequency, 3.52 times 10 to the 17th hertz, by Planck's constant, or h, which is 6.626 times 10 to the negative 34th joule seconds. When we multiply these two numbers together, we're going to get 2.33 times 10 to the negative 16th joules. As a follow-up question, how would you solve this problem if you were given wavelength instead? And the answer is that you're going to use the formula above that relates wavelength and frequency to speed of light. So you'd use c is equal to lambda times f, and you'd plug in the wavelength and the speed of light to calculate the frequency. And once you knew the frequency, then you could use E is equal to H times F to calculate the energy of the wave by using the frequency that you found with Planck's constant. The last thing for page 15 in your interactive notebook is to complete and glue in this table, which is just a lot of practice problems about electromagnetic radiation. So for each row, you're going to be given some information about a wave, and you're going to use that to complete all of the blanks. For example, in the first row, you're provided with wavelength, speed of light, and Planck's constant. And you're expected to find the frequency and the energy. You can buy the, find the frequency by using C is equal to lambda times F, since you know lambda and you know C. And then once you have the frequency, you can use E is equal to H times F to calculate energy, since you'll know H, or Planck's constant, and F, which is frequency. Complete that table and you'll be done with page 15 of your interactive notebook on electromagnetic radiation.